I'm Angela Scapatura from Canadian HR Reporter TV. This week's news headlines coming up, but first we take a look at some of the top stories in the October 19th issue of Canadian HR Reporter. In early September, a fire destroyed the Chapman's ice cream production facility. Although production was halted, employees continued to receive salaries and benefits because of the company's business interruption insurance. We take a look at business interruption insurance, the benefits for employers, and what it covers. Proposed changes to the Trade Union Act in Nova Scotia may make it easier to resolve disputes concerning collective agreements. The new legislation involves including mediation arbitration for grievances. We discuss how this policy compares to other provinces and how it would affect employers. And in our training and development feature, we find out how the David Suzuki Foundation joined a pilot program to measure the return on investment for training. Now for our news headlines. Many employees in Quebec would still show up to work even if they showed symptoms of the H1N1 flu virus, according to a new survey. Quebec's HR Association surveyed 1,000 workers. While some would still go to work, 44% said they would be afraid to go to work if one of their co-workers showed symptoms of the H1N1 flu. The Ontario government has ended the self-employment benefit program until at least April 1, 2010. While that program is on hold, the government has injected more money into Second Career, a program offering laid-off workers financial support for retraining. For more on those and other stories, please visit our website at www.hrreporter.com.